Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Boy, do we got a cool video for you today. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up, give us a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. This is your one-stop shop for cool trucks, especially Fords, we do a lot of them. Uh, we're downtown Kansas City, Missouri. There's the city line. We're in the West Bottoms. We're doing a, I'm not even gonna say it because you guys are gonna destroy me in the comments. We're just starting this truck up, doing a condition walk around. We picked it up from the tire shop today, got an inspection and alignment done on it, so it's not cold. Um, but yeah, 01 F250, 73 crew cab short bed, Lariat, black on harvest gold. Hands down, one of the most iconic two tone paint jobs. Uh, crew cab short bed, one of the most sought after setups. Tan leather interior, seats for six. We are gonna be starting it up today, showing you everything you wanna see. Every little question you wanna know, I'm gonna do my best to answer it today. <clears throat> now it is still pretty cold. Mm, yeah, not even registering on the temp there. Wait to starts off. Truck fires right up. It's not, it's not hot yet, but it's not cold either. I'm telling you guys up front. Let's check out the miles. 281799. 281799. This is a three owner, zero accident truck. Has a nice Pioneer aftermarket head unit, double din, Bluetooth, all the good stuff. Uh, cold AC, hot heat, four wheel drive, parking sensors, cruise control, uh, Lariat model. So power windows, power locks, power mirrors. 08 style tow mirrors. You know, we do them on pretty much everything. Tinted windows too. Uh, super nice condition, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, this truck, it's three owners and it's been in Nebraska its whole life. But when I got it, it had nothing but Devil Rays, Tampa Bay Buccaneers stickers, Pompano Beach, Florida stickers. Um, so it looks like that this is a snowbird truck. They lived in Nebraska, spent all their winters in Florida because this truck is clean for Nebraska. It is clean. I'm going to be showing you that. Uh, not much more on the inside. You got an aftermarket trailer brake controller. Um, other than that, this is going to be one of the most stock 7.3s you've ever seen on our channel. We're talking stock exhaust, stock intake, stock everything. Um, only aftermarket mods. We did them. Leveling kit, wheels and tires, and the lights. That's it. So this is the epitome of a stock 7.3. Seat belts for six, super clean all around, lariat trim, everything works, idle smooth as butter, truck got a full service, everything fixed on it, it's nice. Let's get out and go over that, we'll start under the hood, make our way back. And it is cold, I can hear this little pulley chirping, and this truck does it when it's cold. It goes away. Like I said, OEM airbox everything nice and clean too underneath check it for blow by none zero blow by on an 01 22 year old truck 23 year old truck crazy phenomenal condition these 73 power strokes are just reliable you cannot beat them up this i like to see this too a lot of owner service air filter part numbers Oil filter, T5 Rotella Synthetic. Uh, a fram, I don't support fram filters, but you know, whatever keep it. It's been well taken care of, so is what it is. So everything's good under the hood, runs solid, all the fluids are right, no blow by. Good set of batteries. Paint to match grill and bumper. Love seeing that. We did the black housing Harley Davidson headlights with the clear corners. We also blacked out LED 5 hide the cab lights. Um, let's take a look at the front end. Steering's new, drag link, tie rods, all joints were good. Leveling kit's new, went through the brakes, did some pads and rotors, as you can tell they are new. We did some new shocks. Uh, we did a 20 by 12 ION 141, and we got the center cap that looks like the one on the rear that says ION. 
But you know, with the manual locking hubs, we leave that exposed. So the center cap's in the truck. If you want to clean that look up, 20 by 12 ion 141 negative 44 offset and a 35 12 50 20 amp terrain pro tire. This is a brand new tire with a 60,000 mile manufacturer warranty for any defaults like belt snapping, sidewall failure, pretty much anything. Uh, paint to match, Harvest Gold pocket style fender flares. Um, and there was some rust, so this truck had stock fender flares and they held some moisture. So they did rust on the bed a little bit, but the rest of this truck is clean. And I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, proper Lariat 7.3 badges smoked on the mirror turn signal. We'll take you down to the sticker in case you want to pause it to get specs on the truck, VIN, anything. Boom, there you go. No rust. Look at this cab corner. No rust. This is the cleanest rocker and cab corner for a Nebraska truck you've ever seen. Hands down beautiful. A little bit on the edge, but that's super common. Like I said, a little bit right there, barely, but that's still original paint. That's wild. But like I said, it had this, the factory style fender flares. We nixed them. We put some nice paint to match ones on there. Tinted the windows up, smoked out the third brake with an LED. Let's check the bed. But has some rust. Not hiding it. Still there though. Cross rails are decent. You know, they're not rust free, guys. I'm showing you. But this is a clean truck. I don't remember if we took all the stickers off. It does have a gooseneck hitch, a BMW turnover. Just pull that handle out right there. Boom, you're good to go. Got a ball in the bed. Got a bed mat in the bed. This came there when we had it. You could tell they had like a toolbox or a tanu or something. It's got some caulking or stick tape on there. Well, let's take a look at the tailgate. We smoked out the tail lights, stock chrome bumper, backup sensors. This truck is trimmed out for an 01. And this was in it. I didn't put it in there. It's not hiding any rust or anything, just dirty. You can tell this bed got worked. It's not flawless. Uh, no real dings or anything to report in the tailgate. It's pretty straight. Stock exhaust. Wild. We don't see these trucks with stock parts like this usually. Someone's always waking them up. Exhaust, tune, intake, all that. This truck is as original as it gets. Sands this aftermarket stuff we put on. Wheels and tires and a three inch leveling kit, that's it. And a set of running boards. Clean, super clean. We also did the drive shaft in it. As you can see, it is black. It's got three new U-joints, balance, boot, everything. Fully rebuilt with paperwork, cost 500 bucks. We get them done on the majority of these trucks. Because they always have sloppy new joints, being 22 years old. Passenger seat is manual, not power. Great condition though, no rips, tears, minor stress cracks. And yeah, all your parts come in the glove box here. Ion center caps, lift kit, suspension, keychain, stickers. Uh, jumpers for the power mirrors. So these mirrors we put on, these trucks didn't come with turn signals in the mirrors factory, but the new ones have them. So if your heart desires, you can hook up those jumpers I showed you to that mirror and tie them into your power window switch, just jumping onto the 12 volt ground and boom, you got running lights. Uh, and it does have rain guards too, if you haven't noticed. That's it guys. I've been doing this 11 years. I've had four of these trucks in black and gold. I don't know why it's one of the most iconic Ford color paint schemes. They just look slick. You're not going to find the nicer 7.3 for the money. Fully serviced. Pretty dang clean. Clean title in hand. Guys, head on over to my website, 816diesel.com.
call me, text me, send me a deposit, do whatever you want. If you want to check out this truck, just get a hold of me. Or downtown Kansas City. Uh, available normal business hours, 9 a.m., 5, 6 p.m. Weekends, not Sundays, though. Uh, 816diesel.com. Pictures, VIN number, pricing. Everything you need to know is on my website. So head over there now. 816diesel.com. Uh, but my name's Cameron. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching today. Let me know what you thought about the truck. Uh, what do you want to see next out of us? We appreciate all your feedback and all your support. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week out there. Warm weather is approaching and winter is over. So get outside, guys.